will. And today we'll be creating an app that uses segways. I know I haven't done an app in quite some time, but we're back with apps. So basically this is like a quiz type app with only one question, but it's a basic app. They use segways, not code. You can also code segways, but we're just gonna use plain segways for now. And if you're wondering what a segway is, that's jumping between one view controller to another. So let's let's open Xcode. Remember also by Spotlight Search or uh, your launchpad. Let's create a new project or file. File new project. Go into iOS application single view application. Call it quiz app. You call it whatever you want. Language Swift, devices iPhone, you don't know, you don't, you don't need core data, but I just have it. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And there it is. So, <coughs> let's go straight onto the launch screen first. This is the screen when launching the app. So. Normally, it's going to show a complete white screen when launching the app, so we'll change it once this loads. Okay, here it is. I'll close this for now. So I'm just going to. We don't have to resize it, I'm just going to put a label. Clicking a little square in a circle icon, object library. Click a label. And let's go for whole screen. And I'll call it whatever I named the app. Queen's app. And we want to make sure the Label was selected, go into the one with the arrow pointing down for the attributes inspector. You can change the color if you want, and we're going to put it in the middle. I'm actually going to make it a little bigger. We are going to add constraints to this, but first of all, I'm going to edit the text by going to the text, little T icon next font, custom. And let's go for party LET. Ah, that looks good. I'll make it bigger. So our label is selected. Let's go into the um, this one with the square and two lines outside it, like a rover. We'll click it, select the up, uh, left, up, left, right, down. Add four constraints. And if we see now, if we go into the um, assistant editor and go into uh, sorry about the loading, where it says automatic, go to preview and the launch screen storyboard to preview. So we can do it on a. Uh, 3.5 by pressing a plus, a 4, which is a 5, 4.76 for success, yep. and 5.5. So it looks pretty good. So that's it for here. Now let's jump over to main.storyboard. And I'm uh, not really going to do constraints. The constraints will be covered in another video, but just for the purpose of this app, since we're using a 6s plus, I'm just gonna set it to a 5.5. And I'm just gonna launch the simulator so once we're done with the app, it will load smoothly. Okay, out of view controller. Uh, good. <coughs> we're gonna add. Oh, we need to add another view controller. 
if you're using this. Closer. I'm gonna close these two. Oh, on. Maybe I'll have that one open. And we should add a label. Let's add it. How? Hold on. So let's say book question. So what is what is the an answer you number keypad? You can use my question with zero, but we have an issue. The question's not going to fit. So I'm just going to go to the arrow again. I'm going to copy that just to be sure in case anything happens. The lines I'm going to set to zero. We should. And. Oh, but maybe one thing. So we want it centered. Then there we go. What is the answer when you multiply on the digits of the keyword? I suggest you pause the yeah. pause the video and try to answer that. But I'll give you time to pause it right now. Okay, now continuing. We're gonna add a couple buttons. Zero. Seventy-two total random numbers. Thousand and what? Fifty-one. So we're actually going to need a couple more view controllers. Uh, let's add um, two more because there's four answers. Resize this again to iPhone. And I'll keep a resize that to iPhone. So, okay, that's all neat. So, for the zero, set it, go control, hold the control and drag onto one of your view controllers, hit show, and add a label. Yeah, the answer is zero. Uh, make it bigger. I'll change some font. Why not? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Now we want a button. If the user wants to go back. We'll just say go and control drag remember and just show. And with that, when the user press that, they'll be directed here. When the user press zero, they'll be directed there. If you're wondering why the answer is zero, stay tuned. I'll answer that in a little while. But again, 72 for another new controller. Uh, we're gonna say add a button. Say try, try again. Oh. I'll again make it a little bigger. Yeah, sure, why not? And um, let's try to change. I'm gonna again make it the same font. Try again. Now we want to redirect them to here, so control drag here, again show. I'm just going to copy the try again. So now up to a thousand. Show. Try 
try again. And I'm gonna control drag. And again for 51. And command V for paste. Oh, I pasted it there. I wanna paste it there. And again, control drag and show. Okay, we're done here. <clears throat> so let's do some coding. We should do some coding. Let's open up the assistant editor. Yeah, we're doing this on 5.5. So um, I don't want preview, so I'm going to go to automatic. Oh, we don't have them. So we go to manual, quiz app, quiz app, view controller.swift. Bam. So I'm just gonna again drag all of these. Zero. Up. Oh, I needed a action. So if this happens to you, you create an outlet inside an action. Don't delete this. It's gonna give you an error. So just reconnect it. As now select action and go zero zero action. So bam, now we just try go that. Set it on this. I'll just call it set oh. action. Fine, I'll just call it seven. Seven there. I'll just call this one one. Just for the time of this video. I'll just call this fifty one. Oh, we did an outlet. Another mistake. So just again, like I said, just do an action. Fifty. I call the fifty one action. And then I'm going to close up the assistant editor, open this menu back, and just jump straight to view controller. That's what. So, all we want to do is in the console right here, we want to say if he, if he said, if the user sex zero, we want to say correct. If the user sex a, a different answer, we want to say make it say wrong. Of course, so let's start with zero, but that's correct. So, print. Print. Let's print. It's printed there, so. Ugh, user. What? <laughs> Bad typing? User was right. I'm just gonna copy user was. And I can just copy this because that's all we need now. Print out print user was wrong. It's actually print out in the next code six or swift one. And let's do this. So let's run it. Now oh, your our simulator is open. Oh, we got a build succeeded. Oh, I think we didn't add the constraints correctly, but that's okay. So let's select 51. User was wrong. We gotta try again. Select 1000. Again, user was wrong. And. Zero user was right, and the go back button does work. So that was a quick tutorial on how to create a quick quiz app. This is a basic quiz app, and try modifying the code and see what you get. Yep, there was a simulator, but again. So, 
ask everybody this riddle. <sighs> It'll be fun riddle. And remember, our videos are actually now playing in 720 or 1080p 60. So we got that fixed. And uh, for some fire viewers. And thank you guys for watching. If you're wondering what song that uh, that is playing, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Oh, it's it's by. It's by No Copyright Sound. It's called Tobo and Intro Sunburst. No, I mean it's by Tobo and Intro Sunburst on MP3. It normally shows a title. I don't know why it's not doing that. And that's the name of the song. It's available by No Copyright Sounds. And subscribe for videos every week. Two videos minimum every week. And thank you for watching.